Eric, we're back with Inches and Insights with Bell Medical. Yes. I'm excited to be here with you today. Mm -hmm. Me too. This and is great. I guess to get started, Eric, mm -hmm. what is the highlight of your last week? Oh, gosh. This last week, um, my daughter has been learning back tucks, and she can do multiples in a row. So we've okay. been celebrating <laughs> back tucks at my house, and it's oh, kind of big deal. amazing and terrifying and really cool at the same time. So that's, that's some fun stuff happening in my house right now. Okay. My daughter, Emma, she's eight. So Okay, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. What about you? Anything fun you know this what? week? I, I love that it's spring. Oh. I love just to watch things come alive. And yes, yes the weather's been really crazy in Salt Lake City. But <laughs> um, schizophrenic. <laughs> yeah, I don't, we don't know what it is. Yeah, but right. what I what is consistent is the green and Ooh. some of the colors. And Blossoms. I don't know, it's just, I, I just love it. Me I too. love that's like awesome. spring and just hope that things come back. Me and, too, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really, really good. So. That's awesome. That's, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah. So good cool. things. Good For things. For sure. Um, on a, on a funny note, I did learn that Chick-fil-A has the best wrap you'll ever have. Really? Chicken wrap. Okay. Chicken That's what wrap. I'm getting for that dinner one. today. I'm going to have to try that. That and a diet lemonade, you can't Ooh. go wrong. And then, of course, the sauces. But then all the calories come. But, oh, man. You know. we, don't, we don't worry too much about that sometimes. Yeah, it's no. okay. Anyway, it's a good one. <laughs> that's, that's good to try. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. All right. So today we want to talk about the topic of cheating. 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 Oh, what does that gosh. actually mean? What does that mean in the arena of Bell Medical? What right. does that mean yeah. from the mindset of other people? I know. Um, just kind of dispelling what that means. Because yeah. it's, you know, I guess what, what we're talking about here is like people say what we do is, is cheating. Like I think li so. Liposuction procedures, semaglutide, it's it's cheating when you're trying to lose weight. It's a form of cheating. Why yeah. are you not just doing it the old-fashioned way, the hard way? If you were just to eat less, yeah. work out more, well, then you would then you'd like yourself, then you'd like your body. And right? then and then you it, it magically will do what you want it to do, right? right like you'll right. oh, I want to look a certain way. If I just did all of what I'm supposed to, then it'll work, right? Well, right. and we get comments like on our um, on our YouTube videos and things like. Um, like we recently posted a video of one of our patients, Anton, who had a gynecast gynomast gynocomastia. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a hard one to say. That's a hard one. Gynocomastia procedure, yes. which yes. is um, fat tissue around the chest for uh -huh. men. Yeah, hormonal um, fat tissue. Exactly. And so he had because in Anton's story, like for the longest time he had struggled with his chest. Like he was super self conscious about it, hated taking his shirt off at the pool. Probably like all from things. young. From very young. Like yeah. it's and it was like a family thing. Everybody yeah. in his family Genetics. was like that too. Yep. Yep. So he's like, I'm gonna do something about it. He came in for a procedure and he's actually a friend of mine. So I he agreed to be filmed in the procedure. And okay. so we have this footage and we've used it for promotional materials. And so we posted it a little YouTube short, um, kinda TikTok TikTok real thing. Okay. And we're getting comments like, just be in a calorie deficit, bruh. Or maybe work out a few months. These are separate comments. Exercise is much better. And then there's Spanish. Um, with a calorie deficit and you with exercise, you'd lower that. You know, like, go to the gym, beta. Um, yeah. Maybe do some push-ups and not be a wimp. I mean, wow. holy cow. Really shame-based. Yeah, comments, like, oh, right? my gosh. I right. think, like, so, so this is the kind of stuff we're talking about when we're talking about cheating. Um, and I just wanted to address it because we have one of our TCs here at the Draper Clinic. Her name's Mari. She's amazing. Um, and for those that don't know, TC means treatment, treatment coordinator. coordinator. Sorry, I throw around acronyms. No, and like... it's fine. Uh, we just got that the other day. So I just wanted for to sure. say treatment coordinator. She, for she, sure. She's the person you have the conversation she's with. The consultation with. Yeah. Consultation. For yeah. Yes. So she says like um, people who need braces don't even think twice no. about going in for what's essentially a cosmetic procedure. Like right. extreme orthodontia issues can be right. like medically necessary for like quality of life, but like and when you boil it down, it's like an aesthetic procedure, right? Yeah, like we don't yeah. think twice about braces. Yeah. But have you had braces? I haven't had braces, but okay, I just I got did, lucky. I had I got braces. And you, yeah, it's and just, it's it not your fault. Was, but it, you know, I wore braces as an adult. Uh huh. Um, I didn't get them. I wasn't lucky to get them enough as a kid. Okay, yeah. But I was always insecure. Yeah. So as an adult, actually, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I went and I wore braces. And you could, because you could do something about it, right? You, you did. I was done. You, I yeah. was going to do something about yeah. that. Now, did do people comment on foot, um, selfies or video posts, pictures that you post yourself saying, "What you cheated? You got your teeth fixed?" Never. Like never, right? Never, so, never, never. um, I, 
so this is something that we, we hear about a lot, and I just I just wanted to talk about it here, kind of in this discussion. Yeah, um, it's a great conversation. So I actually went <laughs> to a marketer's best friend, um, ChatGPT, okay. which is a... Um, we love chat. Yes, me too. I use it frequently to help me brainstorm, things like that. Yeah. But I asked ChatGPT, which is an artificial intelligence, I asked it a question. <laughs> okay. And I said, oh, here it is. Where is it? Sorry. I said, if... I asked it, I said the same thing. So it's like, you know, if liposuction is considered cheating when trying to lose weight or to achieve a figure that's more in line with what you want and helps with sure. your confidence, sure. if you compare that to braces and doing the same thing sure. and getting like, what are some other examples of what could that of things that could be considered yeah, cheating? Examples. And so okay. this is this is all tongue in cheek, right? Okay. But okay. it's using the same kind of methodology. It's like, oh, just do push ups, oh, just do mm-hmm. whatever to overcome mm-hmm. what could honestly be like a genetic impossible thing, right? To yeah. Overcome. And um, impossible, frankly, yeah, right? Like, yeah. like you couldn't do, like for braces, like you can't just like push it until it goes into place, right? You no. need intervention, right? No, exactly. Um, so I went and asked ChatGPT and it gave me a whole bunch of things that could be considered cheating. And again, tongue in cheek, I don't actually feel like these are cheating, but this is kind sure, of the same. Sure, sure. Sure. Okay, example. So, to exactly. make an example of, of what mindset people are correct. in. Okay. So if liposuction is cheating, so is getting LASIK to correct bad vision. Right. Because you were born that way, right? Right. Like, okay. But nobody would shame anyone for nobody. LASIK. They'd be like, oh, that's so awesome. There's I've been no thinking about doing LASIK. it myself. Correct. Right? Right. More. Um, nose jobs, breast augmentations, right? There Now, there is some stigma about that, but that's, you know, could be considered in the same vein as liposuction cheating, right? Absolutely. Um, hair plugs. <laughs> right. Hair. Rogaine. <laughs> right. And hair's a really inse- a huge oh my insecurity gosh. that meant hair extensions. Mm-hmm. Um, you name it. Yeah. We do a lot to fix that. I use Rogaine. Okay. I've, uh, and it's worked. I, I've been thinning and it's helping keeping the awesome. keeping the turf going. Awesome. So I'm a big fan. So that would be considered cheating also. Okay. Um, dental implants to replace missing teeth, including, okay. we talked about orthodontia, um, using prescription medication to control certain conditions like ADHD, anti-anxiety medication, depression medication. Right. Which again. Because the mind is if you're born that way. It, that, that's, if, you, if you're going to change it, it it's cheating, right? right. It is and we don't feel that way. Medication is amazing. Sure. Um, but that's, it's in the same thought. That's what right. it could be considered as, right? Right. You should, like, with the medication thing, it's like, we don't say, like, just try harder to be happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, people say, just try harder, work out more, calorie deficit. Whereas also, like, those things are great, you know? Like, but it's like with medication it's like well go outside exercise you need <laughs> yeah. to like yeah such a good point you know, oh like, man such a good point a gratitude journal those things are great yeah and they all work on some but sometimes you need <laughs> more help than and, you can do on your own yeah, totally right and that's the mindset yeah i love yeah. that that's yeah. that great ad so that's ariana um and i don't know if you could hear it but i'm so i'm gonna reiterate what she just said and we're gonna we're gonna use this video too, part of the podcast. But um, <laughs> so Ariana mentioned that a lot of things that happen when like people are going through mental health struggles is you hear things like, "Well, you just need to get, you just need to try harder to be happy. Just choose to be happy." Like, yeah. what do you mean you're yeah. depressed? Like, go walk, go for a walk. Like, right. take a journey. And those things can be helpful. Fix yourself. But, yeah, yeah, you you you've got the power. But sometimes right. you need more help, and there's nothing wrong with that. Well, and honestly, Eric, being in the treatment coordinating room and talking mm-hmm. with people, that's when I realized what a humble experience it was yeah. because. Um, People come and say, I have tried everything yeah. and I can't do this. It's, yeah, I can't do and it on my own anymore. To, to explain to them it isn't actually their fault. Yeah. It is it That's is incredible. it is part of their genetics. It is a stubborn hormonal fat that will not go away no matter what you do. Yeah. Um gives freedom and takes shame away. Oh, oof, I like that. From that from those areas of their body. And then we're able actually to take them away from mm-hmm. their body, which is very healing. Oh, and so empowering. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. No, it is. I love that. Yeah. So medication is not cheating, but no. in the same veins, thinking about it, it could be considered, right? Yeah. But it's not. Just double down da- doubling down on that. It's not. Sure. So sure. we're sure. big advocates of mental health. Taking care of your mental health. Okay. Always. Continuing on the list. Um, hearing aids could be considered cheating. Right. Which isn't that ridiculous? Like no, it is. I like... have a brother that um, had lost his hearing oh, yeah. due to a brain tumor and he's had um, implants. Yeah. He's had hearing yeah. aids. Uh, we wouldn't even get to communicate with him. That's insane. If it weren't for yeah. intervention. Yeah. Right? I'm eventually going to need hearing aids. I played in way too many garage bands in my teenage <laughs> years. And so playing the drums, man, like... I hear a hard K, someone's saying something, I think they're saying Eric when it could be saying Nick. So that, ha- like, yeah, I'm going to need hearing, aid- hearing aids one day. It's not cheating. 
Um, hormone replacement therapy, TRT, things like yeah, that, you know, yeah. like that could be considered in the same vein. Right. Um, prosthetic limbs. Right. <laughs> Which, I, you know, tongue in cheek, right? This is just so ridiculous. It's, it's but... crazy that we even think like that. No, like, that we could. And... Shouldn't we be the very best version of ourselves? And if there's things to help with that, yeah. we reach for those things. Yes. And I guess what, to your point, is we're putting shame on some things. Uh-huh. Then and not on other exactly. things, but it all helps the same. Class. But it's all building and, right. and helping us be the best of ourselves, right. right? Right. So yeah, I've got a ton more here. Like they give me twenty examples. Um, gastric bypass considered cheating. That's along the same. That's like I mean, yeah. people say that all the time it's already. It's a tool. Right? It's a tool, mm-hmm. right? Can help. Yep. So um, anything you would do to reduce scars, like appearance of scars or stretch marks, that could also yep. be considered cheating. And if we're thinking about the same vein. Um, Chemical peel, peels, laser therapy to improve complexion, things like that. I would even say like acne, acne medication. Right, yeah. right. Like when that's right. like, wait, but that's that's just how you are. Like that's your genetics, right? Just accept it. Which again is so ridiculous. And that's why we're talking about this. Just sure, to sure. help change that perspective. Sure. Um, <laughs> this one I really like. It said using waist trainers or compression garments to alter body shape temporarily. So that, sh- that shape wear, those spanks, you know, that'd be... That's, that's cheating. Oh, I can't believe you're wearing spanks. That's cheating. You don't right. actually look like that. Right. That's ridiculous. Right. Um, more. Okay. Um, physical therapy or rehabilitate for, for rehab after you got through an injury. Well, it's like, but that happened to you. That's just there a lot in life. You got to deal with it. And then again, this is so extreme, but like organ transplant. Oh, that's cheating. You know, like it's not, no No. No one would think that. And then, um, the last one it gave me was using, um, like corrective braces or footwear, like, you know, if you got plantar flash fasciitis, those special shoes you're wearing, that's cheating. Yeah. You, know, you just got to deal with it. You know? No, it's a great point. Maybe it's, go for it, walks more. It, you know? It's really a, a way to see what that we have placed shame, in, yeah. again, that word, mm-hmm. in an area that really it shouldn't be there. Yeah. Um, anyone that goes off that list, it, it basically suggests that they're willing and have the courage to go improve their lives yeah. with the tools that are out there. Yes. And I don't so think that shame should be placed on any one no, of them. I agree. Obviously, on some of those lists, nothing is. Totally. But in others, like mm-hmm. sometimes what we do, mm-hmm. that that gets misunderstood totally. as to why somebody would go in and do something different on their body. Yeah. And then you got to think, too, like about how like cyclical trends are like in even thinking about the human body, right? Like right. me, like I'm a, I, I got a little weight to lose, a little extra love, you know, but like I'd be, I'd have the body of a literal king in that, in this, like the 1300s, y- yeah. you know, yeah. like I'd be considered like calorie rich. apex human. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. You know? So, and you even think about like, like our bodies are designed to hold on to things because, you know, we were hunter gatherers at one point. So if anything, like don't it's not shame to like hold on to things it's like yeah that's the the apex of human evolution is we we hold on to things right so and then you look at like um like paintings of women in the in the renaissance period and they're like the the rubenesque figures like the full body it's like so just just love yourself and if there's something that's keeping you from doing that and you have it in your power to do it like go for it I you agree. Know, like ce- I agree. celebrate yourself. Because you just feel more empowered. Yeah. I, I've partnered with Belle on a procedure, the mm-hmm. core procedure, which I dieted and exercised. Yeah. I did all the things. I had my babies. There were areas, spot oh, yeah. reduction, areas that I just always had yeah. and were able to get taken away. And I will tell you, Eric, like it changed my life. Oh. It changed my life. And, it, and you know, some may say, well, did you actually need that? I did. Mm-hmm. I, I have felt so much better. You've partnered yep. with Belle on another side of it. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was, I got on semaglutide and it changed my life, you know, like, I, right. and I've talked about it in previous podcasts, like I lost 80 pounds. And so exciting news. I start, I've, I've started jogging. Like I'm able to <laughs> so jog. I ran awesome. for a mile and a half the other day. Like that, I haven't done that since like 18 years ago. Like it's, it's nuts. And so I'm able to do things that before, like running that long would have like literally killed me a year ago. Like, wow. you know, so, wow. so it's made things easier for me. Like I, I can put my shoes on without like having to like sit down and really take a deep breath, hold it, reach down, you know, like it's just, there's things that semaglutide has done for me that I tried to do by myself for a long time and was unable it's to. It's amazing. Yeah. You know, the, I have every person that walks into Bell and partners with us on any tool, mm-hmm is courageous. Oh gosh. To be honest because like to actually expose any insecurity oh, yeah. that we often cover up or yeah. hide away from mm-hmm. to bring it into a situation and expose it that is that's courageous. It's very. And we create an environment that allows that courage. Oh yeah. And 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 it, and offer a red carpet treatment oh, so in the cool. process of it. I love that. Yeah. So <laughs> to all the the people saying it's cheating, I'm I'm just going to say it. you're wrong. 
Like, There's no cheating. You're, it's not cheating. Like semaglutide is not cheating. Spot reduction, these procedures that we offer, it's not cheating. Um, you can disagree with it. That's fine, but... Well, know. and better said, Eric, don't cheat yourself. Yeah, don't cheat yourself. If there's opportunities like out there that you can partner with to make you feel better yeah. and have more self-esteem, don't cheat yourself. Yeah. Don't lose out. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, find, use the tools at your disposal to to help you feel or, or don't. Yeah. I mean, or whatever. Also, yeah. Whatever, whatever makes you the best you yeah. is what we believe in. And you know who that's up to? That's up to you. That's up to me. That's right. up to the person. It's Just, not up to right. me, you know, for someone else. Like, they right. get to decide. Right. And I love that. And and I think that's something that we try really hard at Bell is to, like, if you feel like there is a need, like, yeah. we can help you. with. We're your, here to help. We're help. We'll help you with your goal. Yeah. But no it's, it's up to you, and, and we're here to partner with you and, and walk with you through the fire of it all. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. We are. We awesome. Are. Cool. Yeah. So it's not cheating. Don't, we're not, we're not, it's not cheating. <laughs> just, and, and maybe think twice before commenting, just do some more push ups, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know, yeah. because you don't know what people are going through. It's such a personal through. journey. Oh gosh. Yeah. It really is. You don't know what people go through. So no. yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. So good to be here. So for fun sure. To tackle these subjects and, yeah. and look forward to the next time. Thanks, Wendy.